Hi, welcome to Thunder Show and the most impressive moments of the past week. Today's theme is massive destruction. Why try to score a single frag when you can try a double, right? Let's get started. While the enemy anti-air is distracted with shooting at who knows what, this pilot charts a good course to drop a bomb and remind it of its main responsibilities. It certainly seems necessary. Look at this plane flying almost above its head unnoticed. The Spitfire chasing it looks like a nuisance though and needs shaking off. Oh, here we go. A lone bomb takes out both the anti-aircraft gun and the enemy chaser. Many people criticize the A-10 for its awkward looks, but no one can blame it for being inefficient, especially in ground attacks. However, Cree-1 doesn't seem to notice the class limitations. Their warthog only fights aircraft and manages to knock out no less than nine planes. Acton wanted to defend the fighter's honor and chose the I-185 for their vehicle. Let's see if they can beat the Warthog's record. Okay, here's nine frags. 10, 20, 30, 33 destroyed planes. The pilot did change their vehicle during the process, of course, but it's still pure mayhem. Respect. But that was in arcade mode. Bet no one could pull that off in realistic battles. Oh wait, we've got the replay right here. Sentinel first wreaks havoc on the ground, and then, having left numerous burning remains, hops into an aircraft and continues reaping their rich harvest in the skies. The total score is 31 vehicles. Maybe Sentinel was so scarily efficient, no one even dared to stop them. But what if quality means more than quantity? Let's take the good old Chaika, take it to a sky full of later predators like the Draken, the G91, or the Skyhawk, and then calmly lay them all to waste. Well, a cannon's still a cannon, especially when the biplane is piloted by an insane master like Andre Jr. And now let's check out live War Thunder and travel to a remote Pacific island. This hangar was craftily made by Bread. No kidding, that's the creator's nickname, Made by Bread. It's a full-scale naval base with hot asphalt, clear skies, and warm sands. Just the thing you need when the outdoor temps are plummeting. One more thing. The comments are asking us again if your moments can be featured in our show after some time, like a couple weeks after being sent. The answer is yes, this is possible. For instance, when it fits a certain theme we have in mind. So don't feel upset if you don't see your feet in the next episode. There's still a chance to enjoy them later. Good luck with your epic moments, and see ya!